From your house to your office and back again, with maybe a few errands in between, that's probably most of the driving you do on a daily basis. University of Delaware professor Willett Kempton knows this. He knew it back in 1996 too, when he was thinking up a more efficient, cleaner way for us to get around. Now imagine if you could drive to work or your office and you could actually plug your car in and feed electricity back to power your stove or to power your computer. This is unlike other electric cars though, in that it can pull power in from the electric grid to charge or push power back out to provide power to the grid when it's needed. It's called vehicle to grid or V2G technology. And just a little more than a decade after he came up with the idea, I'm riding shotgun with him as he drives the V2G car to the grocery store. When it's driving, it's a car. When it's parked, it can be a power plant. The car can provide energy to utility companies when they need it most, like in the middle of the day. Other times, the car's battery can charge up, like he does here at the university. This is a high power charging location, so it's got a bigger cord and we can really charge up quickly here. He talks to the car via a dashboard computer that displays how many kilowatt hours of energy the car's got left in its battery, how much electricity it needs, and how much it can afford to give back. I can set the car to push power back into the grid by just setting a setting on the dash or I can leave it in automatic mode where the grid operator tells me when it needs power, when it needs more power, when it needs less power. They're buying kilowatts from individual cars. So by adding these up, you have a value uh, which, you can be, which can be sold on the wholesale markets. Okay, well this uh, graph is showing the basic idea. We're using uh, electric vehicles that have been modified to have some additional capabilities besides just driving. And the battery is being used to help the power system balance generation of power with use of power. Uh, it's hard to keep those two in balance all the time, so uh, when there's not quite enough power, the, ba the vehicle uh, battery can be used to provide more power to the system. When there's too much, it can draw in and charge the battery more. That has a high value to the electric system. So it's a way of uh, electric vehicle owners getting some revenue that then helps pay for the cost of an electric vehicle. So we're driving right into PJM, uh, Norristown headquarters here in our e-box for demonstration and lectures on vehicle-to-grid power. Uh, it's a load, okay? It's actually um, energy is going into the vehicle. What I can do here is actually do a demonstration where we're actually going to put the vehicle and I'm going to um, make it go to a generator state, okay? And right now the meter is spinning, the, the wheel on the, uh, on the meter over there is spinning slowly and be, uh, the, the vehicle is a loaded system. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to force this value, which is now coming in real time from the ISO, over the internet to the car. I'm logged into the ISO here. I'm going to change that value. <laughs> now, if anybody was, wants to watch that wheel over there, it should stop and rotate the other way. You're seeing a live demonstration running 15 kilowatts of vehicle-to-grid power controlled by the PJM frequency regulation signal.